All right, my name is Patrick Ryan. Uh, I live in Chicago, Illinois. And if you still consider me young, I guess I'm a part of the Maris Young uh, adult community. Uh, shout out to Matthew Fallon for this opportunity uh, to reflect on the first reading during the second weekend of Lent. Uh, as I listened to the first reading, I was in awe as to how open Abraham was to listening to the words of God. And not only that he listened, was open to listening to what God said, he was willing to follow through with sacrificing his son Isaac, because that's what he heard God telling him to do. This reading uh, reminds me that I do a decent job of uh, being open to listening to God's words in my work as a guidance counselor at Mayor of Chicago, but... When I leave work and I'm out uh, in my personal life as a brother, as a son, as a friend, a teammate, a roommate, a cousin, a nephew, an uncle, uh, I'm not always looking f and being open to hearing what God is trying to tell me to do. So this Lenten season, I've decided not to uh, give up any type of sweets or give up any type of bad habits, but uh, I've made the commitment that in my personal life outside of Marist Chicago, uh, I am being more aware of listening uh, and trying to hear what God is telling me uh, to do. I'm looking f to God to um, give me more direction in my life uh, in the many roles that I play. It's not always easy. I don't have children. I can't imagine how Abraham felt when he heard God tell him to sacrifice his son. I'm not pretending that if I was in that situation, I would have done the same thing because that's uh, a great sacrifice. So um, I know that all of what I know that all of us out there during the Lenten season, we decide to make promises, make commitments. Uh, I know it's not easy. It's a challenge. I'm challenged every day. I find myself uh, getting caught up in the the nonstop um, cycle of life and in all the roles that I play, and I find myself neglecting to being present and listening to what God's telling me. So that is what I'm working on this Lenten season. I uh, wish all of you well out there in the young adult Maris community. I know that uh, the promises we make during Lent are not easy, and I'm with you on that. <laughs>